Hello everyone, welcome to my science cafe. After covering some specific lectures in chemistry, now I would like to move on to first year physics and starting with a significant but a basic chapter that is vectors. In lecture number one, we will learn how to add the vectors by a specific method that is by adding the vectors by rectangular component method and how to resolute the vector into its component. So stay tuned and let's learn with me. Let's start our lecture number one. First of all, we have to understand that we can add the two or more than two vectors by two methods approximately. Number one is that you can add the two vectors or three vectors by head to tail rule that we are discussing right now or you can add the two vectors by parallelogram law. I am using head to tail rule method but before applying head to tail rule to add these two vectors, consider these two vectors, vector number one is a1 and it is making an angle theta1 counterclockwise from x-axis and a2 is making theta2 from x-axis. Before we can apply head to tail rule on these two vectors, here is one thing that we need to consider and that is these two vectors have common tail that is both the vectors are originating from the same point. So we cannot apply head to tail rule here directly as head to tail rule says that the head of the last vector joins the tail of the first vector and here both the tails are already joined so before we proceed we need to do something and that is we need to shift vector a2 drag vector a2 parallel to itself parallel to itself such that its initial point adds at the head of the first vector first of all let's think what is parallel by saying moving it or dragging it parallel to itself we need to fix the angle of a2 we cannot change the angle of a2 vector from the x-axis suppose I dragged it to here so I dragged it parallel not changing its angle like this I cannot change the angle I need to shift it parallel so that I can intact or keep the angle intact as it is okay so drag or shift vector a2 parallel to itself so that its initial point its initial point is its tail so that its initial point lies on the terminal point of the a1 its initial point lies at the terminal point of the a1 and it looks like that I've made the figure below it just exactly looks like that here you can already see that theta1 is remain theta1 and theta2 remains theta2 no change in angle at all we just dragged it to the terminal point of the a1 now we have dragged it we can apply head to tail rule easily before applying head to tail rule we need to resolve these vectors into x component and y component and you already know how to resolve the components revise it resolving a1 and a2 into its rectangular component the rectangle suppose how to resolve the vectors i can show you here suppose it is a torch this marker is a torch when i put this marker on this stick suppose this vector is a stick the light will fall on the stick and its shadow will be formed on the x-axis 